I was in the private sector and I had a change of heart. I knew that I wanted to do something to create more impact. So I applied to business school. I was looking into different options and I knew that this was the place for me. More and more we see the Said Business School as a place that is attracting students who want to come specifically because they want to know how do we become inspired to do the same thing. Skoll was a fundamental attraction. I knew that I could spend two years incubating ideas that can be scaled for the world. We've become a leader in terms of supporting through the Skoll Scholarship those amazing individuals with proven track records who have started their entrepreneurial ventures and really grown them and want to come and do an MBA. To me, becoming a Skoll Scholar means becoming part of a family of extremely talented people who are working super hard to change the world. It was a game changer because it not just allowed me to do an MBA at Oxford, but also gave me access to a community of like-minded people who are pursuing similar dreams, be it water, be it global health, be it financial access, be it energy access. This is a community that I knew I wanted to be a part of. We have instituted what we call the Skull Venture Awards. A lot of these are proving to be very powerful. Our company is using drone technology to plant one billion trees each year, and winning the Skoll Venture Award has provided early stage funding as well as provide us amazing contacts around the globe that is really going to enable us to take this to the global scale. Odyssey Sensors takes technology from the world's corporate farms and brings it to the bottom of the pyramid farmers. This allows them to increase their livelihoods, decrease their resource consumption, and really compete on the global market. The Skoll Venture Award gave us both financial backing to start the business, which allowed us to get things going, but also the, the backing and name of a, of a great institution, and that's allowed us to build partnerships and really expand the business quickly. Leading for Impact is a program for University of Oxford students who want to build their personal and global development skills. I came to Oxford after working for eight years in the water sector in India, and getting here I was selected to be part of the Leading for Impact program. This was really a transformative experience for me as it enabled me to learn more about myself, to be a more impactful leader for the future. The Skoll Center has become very well known worldwide for the convenings that we do. I attended a lot of the conferences that Skoll had to offer. Is it completely ridiculous to think that you could change the world? The biggest takeaway was during the entrepreneurship project where I first met Pamela Hardigan and the business idea that we developed together during the program is something I plan to implement um, after I leave the MBA. While here I've been able to take advantage of a lot of the things that the School Centre offers to really integrate my interest in fashion and technology within an African context post MBA. Over the last five years we've trained 3,000 students in 40 high schools but that hasn't been enough. To tackle this problem I decided to do the MBA and be part of a very solid, inspiring network. One of the things that the Skoll Centre has been able to do is really move beyond the business school. The Skoll Centre can play an increasingly important role within the university in areas of entrepreneurship with a social impact, linking with um, groups in engineering science, economics, geography, anthropology, to sort of look at water security challenges at a global scale. Students want the theoretical frameworks, they want to understand the way the world works. They want to do something with that. And again, it's something like the Skoll Centre that creates that space where they can bring their theoretical knowledge and apply it to real world problems. They get really excited by that possibility. One of the areas that we really want to strengthen is in our research capacity. We're really looking at actionable insight, not just theoretical research, but really actionable insight that can help those entrepreneurs do better what they're doing on the ground. We have interviewed a wealth of academics, over 70 of them, to try and uncover and find some of this expertise and insight in order to be able to leverage it for the purpose of social entrepreneurs, other entrepreneurs who are doing work of social impact in the field. The Skoll Centre sits in this very unique place in the university like Oxford where it brings together some of the leading researchers and thinkers in the field with some of the most dynamic and you know practitioner oriented people. We competed and fortunately won a school research grant which enabled us to transform this project from a research project into an entrepreneurial venture where we use a stuffed animal to empower the clinician to provide better diagnosis in the field. 
The Skoll Centre's competitive grants have allowed us to look at really important um, problems in innovative ways and provide new ways forward that no other funding has allowed us to do. As much great work as we've done with Skoll, there's still so much more to be done. We want to be able to change individuals and transform organizations and change society. What I look towards is the future. The future where we continue to work together, but more importantly, that we jointly address some of these huge issues that are waiting for our collective effort. The Skoll Center's impact over the last decade has been phenomenal, and we've started a lot of great work. And now is our chance to grow it, expand it, and build on it for the future. We need to really be able to mobilize more resources to bring to bear on using Oxford's muscle to drive this uh, movement that we see forward. And that is what's really exciting. And the coming three, four years are going to just be this incredible challenge for us to beef up that space.